What's going on, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. Man, this news dropped on us just the other day, but we had to wrap up our WWE Elite 114 reviews before we got into it. If you guys missed any of our WWE Elite 114 reviews, definitely go check that out. And Elite 113, again, should be arriving any day now. Hopefully it'll arrive today. But today, man, we're going to be talking about a couple of new figure lines as well as some Championship Showdown 2-pack deals that we want to get into, man. But I thought this was some very interesting news. The next WWE Elite Greatest Hit hits wave is dropping it is dropped on us it is up for pre-order right now at ringside collectibles but today i wanted to dive into that entire lineup and get into it and what i think about it and how i like it and what i don't like and just kind of digress and break down each figure and you can give me all of your thoughts on it and i don't know man i i don't know how i'm feeling about it and we'll get into all of that man but let's go ahead and dive in let's shut the hell up and get started man let's start things off first with the first figure the first figure in greatest hits series seven for the elites is going to be seth rollins now lot to unpack here, lot to sort of gather together here because you guys know I love Seth Rollins. I love his figures. There are so many Seth Rollins figures that are so good that would deserve some sort of upgrade, right? You take a Seth Rollins from the past, you redo it. You know, we don't want to have just some re-releases, but if you go to Ringside Collectibles website and you look at the photo of the Seth Rollins on the pre-order, it has listed this Seth Rollins as a shield Seth Rollins. I mean, what in the hell are we doing here? Now, I can kind of guess based off of what we we've already seen from Seth Rollins in the Greatest Hits line, that this is probably going to be the Elite 25 Seth Rollins, which was the first Elite Seth Rollins ever made by Mattel and WWE. Now, this figure is not bad per se. It's got the short sleeve black shirt, so the shoulders are going to be black so that it looks like he's wearing, you know, one of those Nike Pro Combat tight deals underneath his vest. But the thing about that is that we've already seen a Greatest Hits Seth Rollins, and that was a Seth Rollins in Shield gear as well. I don't know why you would redo another Shield Shield Seth Rollins when there are so many great contenders to put in this line. Elite 45 Seth Rollins. They already did the cash-in Rollins in which they just redid the exact same figure. They didn't even upgrade the formula like we thought they would. And now they have another opportunity to do Seth Rollins. And they put him in Shield gear again. I mean, that is... I don't know, man. That's another massive missed opportunity. I do not know what the holdup is on an Elite 45 re-release of Seth Rollins. Maybe they're going to put it in the From the Vault series instead of the Greatest Hits line, which would be fine, I guess, but I feel like the Elite 45 Seth Rollins would have been perfect for the Greatest Hits line, and again, maybe the From the Vault series is a be better fit for that figure, but at the same time, I just think that it's another mass missed opportunity. I even think that the Defining Moments line would be really cool to see an Elite 45 re-release and really upgrade it, you know, create a brand new crotch mold that could do all kinds of really cool stuff to upgrade the Elite 45 and really make it into something special compared to what it was, and it was already a damn good figure back in the day in Elite 45, but good lord, man. I cannot believe they're making another shield, Seth Rollins. It actually kind of shattered me when I saw that. But Seth Rollins is the first figure in the wave. The next two figures in the wave, I say two figures because they're going to come together, man, is going to be the Usos. No strangers to the Elite line. No strangers at all, man. Jay Uso is over like Rover right now, man. He is unbelievable. And the thing about it is these are great. These are fantastic selections here for the Greatest Hits line. But this version of the Usos we're going to get in this Greatest Hits line apparently is going to be based on their Elite 30 one looks, which is the throwback Usos, man. Super throwback Usos right here in the bright green. Great figures. I remember I got both of these for $20 shipped on eBay way back in the day. Fantastic figures right here that, you know, they have aged pretty well. They look fantastic. They're pretty good figures. Pretty good elites right here. And it feels like so long ago. And that that heel turn that they had in 2016, man, saved their careers. Don't care what anybody says. Really saved their entire careers and gimmicks right there. When they had that heel turn around the time smack down live became a thing and they you know, they split up and did the draft and everything, but this is really good. You know, they're not going to have all their tattoo details, but they'll have the double jointed arms and the face paint and everything. These will be really fun figures here. I'm excited to see what these look like, how much they upgrade them. Are they just going to redo the head sculpts? What are they going to do here? I'm excited for that. So I think this is a good selection here. And honestly, these are two guys you probably could have put in from the vault too, but I'm glad they're in the greatest hits. I think this is a good deal here. Next up, we have Elite Batista. Batista is going to be the next figure in the greatest hits line. Now in the image they put on the pre-order, it was the Elite 72 Batista, which was a great figure, by the way. This is his WrestleMania 35 matchup with Triple H, and he had on the, you know, the maroon red gear. He had the black lettering. He wore, like, LeBron Soldier 7s to the ring, I think, with, like, some shin guards, and they designed the figure like he had regular boots on, which is fine. You know, it's that's fine, I guess, but it's just something to note there, but this is a figure
figure that I really did wish that I got more copies of. So if they actually do the Elite 72 Batista, this will actually be a really good one. And I want to say this figure is kind of sort of difficult to get your hands on. I don't know what it goes for nowadays, but I do think that the figure is is kind of difficult to get, or at least I know shortly thereafter, after this figure released, that was the case. It was kind of difficult to get your hands on this figure, but I am excited to get the Elite 72. Hopefully it'll be, and you know, sometimes the images in the photos are not always accurate, but so far, this is what they're saying, and I don't think there was any listings. If there was any detailed listings on ringside when you go over there, I will include that. Like the Shield Seth Rollins. It says Seth Rollins and Shield in parentheses, so we probably, you know, 99.9% .9 sure that is going to be a Shield Seth Rollins. But Batista is the next figure in the wave, and the Elite 72 is a great figure and a perfect inclusion here if that is what they go with. But any Batista I'll take. I really don't care what Batista it is, as long as it's not another Blue Batista like we saw back in Greatest Hits Series, what, 2? I I don't think I want to see that again. So, wouldn't shock me though, honestly, in this day and age, wouldn't shock me to see it again. The next figure in Greatest Hits Series 7 is going to be Ron Simmons. Now, the only real thing that I can see here for Ron Simmons is probably going to be his Hall of Champions figure in the blue gear. I don't know if they'll change the color, if it'll just be a straight up re release, but that is another good inclusion. You know, I think that getting a Ron Simmons in here, that's a pretty sought after figure. He could get the double jointed arm treatment and all those different things. That Hall of Champions figure did come out a long time ago as well. And it was a pretty damn good figure, you know, so I think that those guys would suffice here for Greatest Hits Series 7. That you're not going to hear a complaint out of me. And honestly, in the Greatest Hits line, sometimes I like when they change it, and sometimes I like when they keep it as the original figure. In this case, I really like the blue attire, but it would be fine if they changed the gear. It wouldn't really bother me all that well, or, you know, it wouldn't bother me at all to see them re-release the Hall of Champions, Ron Simmons. But the next figure in the set is going to be Rey Mysterio. Now, I don't think I have any details on this. That really could be anything. I, I mean, there's so many damn Rey Mysterios they've released in the last three, four years. There's no telling what kind of Rey Mysterio this is unless there's some detail that I'm missing. I don't think that... I mean, I have no idea. In the photo, they're showing a modern Rey Mysterio that looks similar to the Greatest Hits one, but I don't think that they would redo that one that soon. But I guess crazier things have happened. We have seen crazier things happen in that regard, so I guess anything's possible at this moment, I guess. But Rey Mysterio being in Greatest Hits is fine. You know, hopefully they pick a good Rey to re-release. You know, I don't think it would be the Flash Ray, I think that's more of a from the vault deal. It's not going to be one of the exclusive rays or something. So really take your pick. I mean, even the Elite 67, it would be the Elite 67 Ray Halloween Havoc. I feel like that would be from the vault as well. I guess I could be wrong though. You know, it'd be cool if they did his WrestleMania figure. That would be a really cool one. In the light blue gear, that would be a great, greatest hits. But the next figure in the set is going to be Undertaker. Now, in the photo, it looks like they're using the SummerSlam Undertaker, the one with the crazed eyes. But I don't I don't know what the hell they could pick here, man. I guess any singlet taker would work. I think it'd also be cool if they redid the WrestleMania 35 Elite with a trench coat and all. That would be a really damn good Undertaker figure. And the thing is, you'll notice... Typically, when they do a Greatest Hits line and there's eight figures in the wave, that's usually when there's re-releases. And then if there's only four figures in the line, that means that it's going to be, you know, more of a top pick style wave is what I've noticed. You know, the Randy Orton, the AJ Styles, the Hulk Hogan, that wave was slightly different than some of the earlier Greatest Hits series where we were seeing completely fully re-released figures, not that were in the last couple years, but more those, you know, those old school figures. But I guess the AJ Styles was from Elite 74, so I don't I don't know what they're doing, man. The rules of the Greatest Hits are undetectable. You can't really even get a consistent basis for this. But the last figure in the Greatest Hits in this one is going to be Hulk Hogan. And in the image they're using, it looks like it's going to be the exact same Hulk Hogan that we've seen for so many damn times in a row. So many times in a row, man. It's kind of unbelievable how many times we've seen it. And I know you can really... It's kind of like John Cena or Roman Reigns. You know, it's like the same run-of-the-mill attire. I know John Cena is a little different. But, you know, like the green attire basic, that's what it's like. It's like I'm seeing that green attire basic of John Cena released over and over again with Hulk Hogan. Here's your full wave, and you will see Shield Seth Rollins. You have Throwback Usos, Elite 72, Batista for Mania 35. You have Ron Simmons looks to be the Hall of Champions. We have a Modern Rey Mysterio. We have Undertaker, and then we have a Hulk Hogan that looks like at least eight different Hulk Hogan's we've seen over the last two to three years there. And that is what it is. It's not the biggest deal, I guess. It'll be a, a good Hulk Hogan. Maybe they'll include a new accessory or something like that that makes it sought after. But that is interesting. I found that interesting. But we also have some Ultimate Editions. Now, in this Ultimate Edition set, this is going to be the best of Ultimate Edition Series number 5. And in this wave, we are going to be seeing Seth Rollins and Hulk Hogan. Now, the thing that makes the Seth Rollins unique is nothing. I don't, I don't think they're redoing anything. I'm not sure if they're going to be repainting 
painting or if this is going to just be the exact same Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins that we saw last time, which would be fine, I guess, because you guys know that his first go-around was really, really good. And, you know, I always said, oh, I want multiple copies of this figure. Only found one. Never found that figure ever again. Never saw it at retail. Never saw it on shelves. Never had another opportunity to get the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, like the first Ultimate Edition. So I am very excited to get another one. Hopefully this will make this figure easier to obtain and I will be getting multiple copies because that is a figure that I never ever got to see again which is absolutely nuts and it's something that kind of bothered me man because I was not able to secure that and you know things like that but on the Hulk Hogan side of things apparently this is not going to look like the first go around Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan from Series 13 with Mr. T this is going to be based on WrestleMania 3 so think his defining moments Hulk Hogan that is what this figure is going to be based on. So there are going to be slight differences. It's probably going to have a cloth yellow shirt. It'll probably look better in certain aspects. They'll probably add some bonuses to the figure. So you guys know that they're going to upgrade this Hulk Hogan a little bit and, you know, make it something of its own, which is going to be nice. But my God, another Hulk Hogan that's going to look very similar to the rest of our Hulk Hogans. But I will say it is cool to see all of them up on a shelf next to each other. They really do pop and things like that. So I guess it's fine. You know, he's going to sell like hotcakes. It is what it is, man. Our community is the people buying this so you know it is what it is man but best of ultimate edition series number five rollins and hogan now next up i want to get into some two packs man we had these revealed to us by ringside we do have a damian priest and finn balor two pack which is just run of the mill you know the money in the bank briefcase having it here is actually kind of cool because i know a lot of people missed out on the money in the bank it's been a while since we've seen a money in the bank series like this or a briefcase like this and they're two solid looking figures for basics you have finn balor and damian priest nice little battle pack right there i'm sure people are going to be wanting that one we also got Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Really don't like the way this Austin looks. I don't know why the, the damn graphic tee looks like that. Is that how it looked at WrestleMania? I guess this is kind of based off the WrestleMania matchup. I guess it's not terrible, but not something that I necessarily want. But it is okay, I guess. And also on the Damian Priest, people are probably wondering why it's not the purple one. That one is going to come with his Ultimate Edition. I'm pretty sure uh, Damian Priest. I'm pretty sure that is what the case is going to be there. But then the last one is going to be Miz and Gunther right here. And the Miz and Gunther is a solid one. Nothing that I necessarily want, but if you guys want that Intercontinental title with the Gunther side plates, Miz kind of has a cool attire going. The Gunther's kind of running the mill, but maybe you guys want that. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments section below. But at the end of the day, man, I think that's going to wrap up our news for today. Wanted to go through that greatest hits wave with you, talk about all those different things, talk about what figures are going to be, what figures are not going to be, all those, all those things right there, man. And of course, I'm sure we're going to get these things announced to us and everything like that. I don't know when Ringside fest is but surely i want to say that ringside fest is any week now you know and they're going to have some sort of reveals i feel like it's been a while since we've had just a full slate of reveals not necessarily galleries i know we're getting galleries and we're getting things posted up but we have not seen really any figures in terms of reveals like something that Maybe we know, knew it was on the horizon and they actually showed us prototypes or things of that nature. Hopefully, soon we will get some stuff like the new Ultimate Edition Finn Balor and the Bray Wyatt and the Solo Sokoa. I would like to see a gallery on those guys and different figures like that, so we'll have to see. But hopefully, my WWE Elite Series 113 will show up today. We'll get those videos started for you and we can get CM Punk in here. We'll get in on the Tiffany Stratton and all the different things, man. But we will review all those figures, man. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are unbelievable. I appreciate all of you. You guys are such a blessing and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video on the news, man. Let me know what you think. Is this a good Greatest Hits wave? Is it a trash Greatest Hits wave? The Greatest Hits wave has become one of the most insane things I've seen in recent memory in terms of the WWE Mattel saga. I just think that with all the damn re-release waves and now we're getting this and I feel like, you know, I'm behind on figures, man. I don't have the Dudley's two-pack. I don't have the Headbangers two-pack. I feel like I'm so behind on figures. I and it's crazy because the Monday Night Wars line still don't have series two, three, four, or five. I I do not know, man. I have no words for those figures. I guess I'm either gonna have to just somehow actually order them online or or what what the case is there, man. But I'm very behind on figures and reviews of certain figures, and I do apologize on that. But you know that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. Distribution's been absolutely trash. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. And I'll catch you guys later.